Good morning. It's January 21st, 2010. This is Lisa Salberg with the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Association. This morning on the Today Show, Matt Lauer interviewed the husband and mother of actress Brittany Murphy. Brittany Murphy died about a month ago of a sudden cardiac arrest at the age of 32. Speculation loomed immediately to drug use, food problems, um, anorexia, and the type of drama that you would expect following a young person's death in such a public view. We had suspected here that there might be something else to this story. The autopsy is not complete yet. Toxicology is not back yet. But based upon the interview today on the Today Show, I have very strong concerns that Brittany Murphy may have been one of the hundreds of thousands not diagnosed in time with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. We know, based on research we've done here at the HCMA, that the most common misdiagnoses for HCM are innocent heart murmur and much of that prolapse. On top of that, one of the other misdiagnoses often is panic attacks. Brittany Murphy's mother said that Brittany had a heart murmur from her early teens. Her husband said, she had been diagnosed with mitral valve prolapse. Her husband said she had been seen by five cardiologists in three years. We here at the HCMA know that not all cardiologists really understand HCM at the level that we'd hoped that they would, and that oftentimes there's misdiagnoses. We also know now that the mitral valve is affected more in HCM than previously appreciated and that the abnormality of the heart doesn't have to be massive thickening, it could be subtle thickening, but there could be abnormalities in the mitral valve apparatus, in the cords, and in the tendons in the heart. So within the structure of the heart, it's not just wall thickness. This news comes on the heels of two athletes who have died in the past week. Jerron Lewis, a college player, and Gaines Adams from the uh, Chicago Bears. Again, suspected HCM autopsies aren't back on anybody yet. This just brings us to the point of saying, hello world, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy affects 1 in 500 people. It's out there. It's killing our young people, and nobody's paying attention. We need your help. We need to get the word out there, and we need to help people who think that they might have HCM based on signs, symptoms, or misdiagnoses or current diagnoses. There is help out there. The HTMA has worked to build up now almost 20 programs around the country with specialized knowledge of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. We can save lives. We can get these people appropriate treatment. They can live long lives. Please, I don't know if Brittany Murphy had HCM or not. I suspect she did. From one Jersey girl for another, help us spread the word. This is ridiculous. We should not be losing our young people like this. So please support the HCMA, support our mission, help us get the word out there. If you're a reporter, write a story. Get it out there. Get the facts out there. Learn what HCM is. Give us a call. We're happy to help get doctors out there for you to talk to the media, to talk to your, your, your uh, viewers, your readers. Let's get this done. Thank you very much.